Hey you guys, welcome to Blending with Henry. Got a new product from Vitamix to share with you, so let's get started. For those of you who bought a Vitamix, I think you guys will agree with me that when you see this box arrive at your doorstep, it's Vitamix Fun Day, right? The all new Vitamix One. Now Vitamix certainly is becoming the apple of the blending world with this new box design and red color scheme. It's very cool. And that 100 you see on the box means Vitamix is celebrating their 100th year in business. On the back of this cool box, you see a full length picture of the Vitamix One with the features and some recipe ideas. Now you guys, I don't do any stale unboxings. There's really no imagination to doing that. I show you exactly what you get in the box, which is what you want to know, right? Now in the box with the Vitamix One, you get the 32 ounce container, mini tamper, instruction booklet, and you guys, please read your manual, because you know you'll ignore it, okay? <laughs> I know you'll ignore it, okay? <laughs> and you get a welcome card and info about the Vitamix Rewards Program. Now, just like all Vitamix machines, the Vitamix One is made in the USA, and it sells for $249.95 USD and $349.95 for Canada residences. Uh, it weighs approximately 6 pounds 3 ounces and comes with a 2-year warranty. Now, this is a shorter warranty than most other Vitamix machines, but Vitamix blenders tend to far outlive their warranties. The Vitamix One may remind you of the now defunct Vitamix S30 personal blender. Now if you already have this machine and are enjoying it, then keep using it. The Vitamix One won't be an upgrade from it. Now since the Vitamix One comes with a smaller container for single serve recipes, in my opinion, it's more of a combined version of the S30. On the front of the motor base is one large dial for variable speed control and all operations. And on the bottom left and right sides are handles for easy pickup and transfer. The back of the motor base is nicely styled with the large one and the Vitamix insignia. And it's also styled on the top half with a semi-glossy finish and a matte finish on the lower half, both of which are easy to clean. Even though the Vitamix One is scaled down from the full-size Vitamix, it still comes with a thick three-prong power cord, which is indicative of a high-performance product. Many cheap blenders have thin clock radio style power cords. On the bottom, it has the air ducts, the handles for gripping it, and four rubber feet so it won't slide on most countertops. On the top, it has a rubber centering pad which is removable for cleaning. And as usual, Vitamix includes the drive socket with metal gears. Other blenders like Ninja still include plastic gears for the drive socket that wear down much quicker. The 32 ounce container is Triton BPA free with an easy grip handle. It includes a rubber lid with a removable lid plug that can be used for pouring in ingredients or adding spices. It comes with the mini tamper. Now, if you guys have a Vitamix container with the mini tamper, it's the same tamper as this one. Now, however, the included 32 ounce container is the only one that's compatible with the Vitamix One. These are the same high quality stainless steel blades used for the 20 ounce blending cup and the 8 ounce blending bowls. And I'm going to show you guys later just how well they work when I create some recipes. Uh, once again, Vitamix does not skimp on the build quality. They use a metal retainer nut with metal gears. Now just for comparison, check out the current Ninja picture. It uses a screw to hold in the gears, which happen to be rubber, which connects to the plastic drive socket. So with Ninja, it's much faster for wear and tear. Now just for reference, on the left is the original Vitamix 32 ounce container and to the right is the Vitamix 132 ounce container. They're both overall the same height and size. There are some downsides to the Vitamix 1 container and I'll tell you about that in a bit. So you can see a real world size difference. On the left is the Vitamix Pro 750 with the 32 ounce container compared to the Vitamix 1 on the right. Now the Vitamix One will easily fit on most countertops with limited space. It has a smaller footprint and lower height than the Pro 750 with the 32 ounce container. So here I'm doing the water test. Now this is to show the differences in the precision speed control and the noise factor. Now with the Pro 750, I have two cups of water in the 32 ounce container and the same two cups of water for the Vitamix One. 
First, I'm going to show the precision control, starting on speed one. Now I'll slowly increase to the highest speed. Now the same test on the Vitamix 1. Now it does have limited speed control, so I want to show you this. Now I'll increase the speed. Starting with the Pro 750, I'm going to show you the differences between the two on the lowest speed. So in comparison with the Pro 750, the Vitamix 1 has less of a spectrum of control speeds, it starts with a more aggressive blending speed, and it's much louder in ambient sound. Next is the Blackberry Seed Test. Now I always do this test you guys to see how well a blender can break down the seeds to a smooth texture. So here I have one cup of frozen blackberries. Now I'm placing equal amounts in each machine. Now one cup of water for each machine. I'm putting the lid securely on both. And now I'm wrapping them both up to the highest speeds and blending for one minute. Okay, we're done here, you guys. Now let's pour them up using the white plate test. Here is the Vitamix 1 container and the Pro 750 container. So I'm going to pour equal amounts on each plate. Now using a white plate easily reveals any leftover or unblended seeds. Uh, so far, you guys, they both look very smooth. Now with the spoon, I'm going to smear out the liquefied blackberries on each plate. Now if there are any leftover seeds, they will show up. Now I've done this test with Ninja Blenders, you guys, and they failed every time. <laughs> Now once again, here is the Vitamix 1 plate and the Pro 750 plate. And you guys can see for yourselves, they look 100% equally smooth with no seeds left over. Now even with smaller blades, the Vitamix 1 has the same legendary Vitamix blend quality. Now while the Vitamix 1 is not designed for making nut butters, you can still easily make nut based recipes such as nut milks. You can also make almond milk, rice milk, oat milk and more. Now I'm going to make cashew milk. To make the cashew milk I'm putting in one half cup of raw soaked cashews, soaked overnight. One cup of filtered water. and one cup of ice to keep it cold. Now you can replace the ice with water as long as it's a total of two cups of water. So I'm putting the lid on and blending on the highest speed for one minute.
All right, you guys, we're done. Just two ingredients, really easy. Let's pour it out. I love making cashew milk, you guys, because it requires no straining, so you're getting all the good fats, protein, fiber, and nutrients. And it looks and tastes very much like dairy-based milk. Definitely invest in these glass milk bottles with metal caps. Now you can also add premium chocolate sauce and maple syrup during blending for delicious chocolate cashew milk. Now I'm going to make a peach sorbet in the Vitamix 1. I'm showing you guys these types of recipes because they're tougher to create with cheaper blenders, especially the methods that I use. So for the peach sorbet, we're going to use the mini tamper. And just like all Vitamix blenders, the tamper is protected from the blaze by way of a stop gap in the container lid. Now when properly snapped in place, the lid will never allow the tamper to reach the blades. So, let's get started. So I have two heaping cups of frozen peaches. That's it, no other ingredients. Snapping the lid in place. Putting the tamper in first, then I'm blending on the highest speed. Okay, I'm removing the lid. And you can see the four mounds and it's perfectly frozen. Now you may see demonstrations adding liquid, but it's not necessary, you guys, and you won't get firm scoops. All right, let's scoop it up. Now see how firm my scoops are? In fact, they're so firm, I can't get it out. Okay. <laughs> Now add a spoon, and there you go. A ready to eat sorbet on a hot summer day. Now if you want it sweeter, you guys, you can add dates or maple syrup before blending as well. So you guys, should you get the Vitamix 1? Let me show you who it's for and what it's not. Who is the Vitamix 1 for? Consumers that want an affordable or a second Vitamix. Consumers with basic blending needs but demand the best quality. Consumers who have a small kitchen counter footprint. Students living in dorms with limited space. Campers with RVs that want more advanced blending than what Ninja or Nutribullet can offer. What is the Vitamix 1 not? For making nut butters. For grinding grains. For hot drinks. For making hot soups. For food prep since there's no pulse feature and the lowest speed is very aggressive. Is also not dishwasher safe. If you're on the Who's the Vitamix 1 4 list, then this machine is for you. It's great to see Vitamix revamp the personal blender and make it an affordable package. Alright, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to get a Vitamix 1 or other Vitamix products, check out the links below the video or on blendingwithhenry.com. See you soon.